Hello everyone, we are Edu Motion. I am Mohamed Zanati, communications engineering student at Sohag University. I am Nuran Gouda, computer engineering, Mansoura University. And I am Adonav Chirara, high school senior at African Leadership Academy. So where, where is Zahra? Oh, Zahra, meet. Okay. Meet Professor Sami, a university professor. But before pandemic, before the pandemic, his classes used to be more interactive and the class students used to be more engaged. But now everything is virtual and classes are not the same anymore. He feels that he's talking to pictures on screen most of the time because since most students don't turn on their cameras is not able to communicate with the students in an emotional level. So our problem statement is in online sessions, participants have difficulties being emotionally engaged. I'll let Zahra lead the market research and agenda. Thank you. Zahra, Zahra you're muted. Yeah. Oh, so sorry. Okay, so for the agenda, we've already covered the, int the intro and the problem statement. We will go through with market research, motivation, our solution and demo, and then we will end by competitive analysis and the next steps. For the market research, we've started by interviewing more than 120 students from different schools and universities, and we found that more than 50% of these students lose concentration every 20 minutes during the class time. Also, we found that more than 80% of these students leave their cameras off during the online class, which means that if they already lost concentration or they not engaged in the class, the professors will not be able to capture this. Another thing is that more than 80% of these students have reported that they thought online classes are lacking engagement and not like the regular classes. And one final thing is that more than 60% of these students have reported that they watched the class recording after classes and notes and studied because they were not concentrated during the class or focusing well. Okay, for the motivation, we've, uh, we've, uh, we've got uh, data from our market research and uh, the research papers that we've read before, and we found that there are four main factors that are affecting the online learning experience. And starting by first one is instructors during the online class not gauge how students are comprehending the material or whether they have a shared experience or not. Second thing is that emotions. As emotions play a vital role in the learning experience, given that students are not turning on their cameras in most of the cases, professors are not able to connect with them. And the third thing is that students generally uh, so lack engagement during the online class, as most of them have become passive learners and did not participate as before. And the last thing is that instructors cannot see all participants at once, which means that most of classes, even though if we have some students who are opening, turning on their cameras, professors are sharing screens and explaining the material. So they cannot communicate with the students well. Okay, now I will go through the stakeholders and end users. For the stakeholders, we're, uh, we're initially we are maybe having the online platforms and we have some suggestions like Boom, Microsoft Teams, and Google Hangout. And uh, at the end, we will specify why we choose that. Also for the end users, they will be instructors and students. And uh, the uh, best features in universities or schools will be, uh, will be buying this service as or having subscription from the online platform. And for we focused on our market to be the educational purpose. And also we found that the global e-market is expected to grow on a compounded annual growth rate of 14.6 from 2019 to 2026. And now Nuran will walk you through the solution and the demo. So we represent EduMotion. EduMotion is a tool for understanding and improving emotional engagement in online learning setups implemented with deep learning, TensorFlow, Python, and OpenCV. Now I will run with you a live demo of how EduMotion works. I will turn off my camera to share my screen uh, of the model. Um, so I'm sharing my screen. 
So um, this is Idiomotion. It consists of two models. The first one will detect my emotion and the second one is tracking my eye gaze. So um, if I'm neutral, uh, I am most likely to be, um, to be engaged as neutral feeling has um, the most weight. These weights were, uh, were decided based on a research paper I shared in the GitHub repository. And the other one is detecting my eye gaze like if I'm looking at the camera, it tells me that I'm engaged. If I don't look, it tells me that to pay attention. Uh, our uh, the, the eye gaze model uh, was uh, was implemented the, using the facial recognition using OpenCV and the deep learning model achieved uh, accuracy from uh, average from 60 to 65 percent on the validation test set. Now I will stop the screen sharing and continue. Zahra, you can you can stop you can continue. Oh my God. So um, we can see here that our main features our main features are um, emotion emotion detection in real time and um, emotion detection in real time and eye gaze tracking uh, to indicate if a student is engaged or not and real-time alerts for students with their engagement level and their emotion and the last thing uh, and the last thing is um, we send uh, statistics and reports to professors with the overall engagement of students now you can see um, the ui uh, the proposed ui screens for the professor and the students for the student we uh, we aggregate their overall performance in the class uh, every 20 minutes as the, uh, as the survey indicated and uh, to uh, and uh, if, if a student just like had uh, under 50 percent engagement level we recommend him uh, resources to improve uh, uh, his learning uh, experience and for professors we also provide them with the same statistics but the students are anonymous uh, so they can improve their uh, future performance in the upcoming lectures um, now, McDonald will walk you through uh, the competitive analysis and future work. Okay, so for the competitive analysis, we first look, we looked at our main competitors, which are Movcast, Smiki, and Noodless. So we first looked at in terms of price, quality, and mainly we based our competition on their strengths and weaknesses. So I'm going to start with Movcast. So Movcast's major strength is they measure people's emotions through a variety of matrices. However, their main weakness is they analyze multiple faces, but only on one video. Then Smiki. Smiki is a mobile application that allows video calls and people can see their emotions through the, those video calls. However, the main weakness is that it's not really a virtual learning platform, but more of a one-to-one -one video calling social network platform. And then moving on to Nodulus. Nodulus, their main strength is that they offer a solution which offers information on a very large variety of motions. However, their main weakness is that it is not suitable for multiple attendees video conferencing. Um, we are now moving on to what sets us apart from um, the current solutions which are available on the market. So the first thing is that our virtual learning platform is specifically targeted to instructors and students for school setups or school environments. And also our plugin can be integrated into more to use a video conferencing platform such as Zoom, Microsoft Teams. And also finally, our solution, the emotion alert analysis is done whilst respecting the student's privacy. First, um, select the consent button and also the professor doesn't have the ability to see individual students records. Uh, he just sees or she just sees the overall um, information which was um, taken during the um, lesson. 
um, we are now moving on to the next steps. So we, our next immediate step is to integrate the plugin with Google Meet as a Chrome extension. We chose Google Meet because it's very easy to edit. Um, it's very easy to add Chrome extensions to um, Google Meet video conferencing platform. And also we want to work on increasing the module ac accuracy through after session validation from the students, continuous learning, and also extending our data set so that it covers more emotions. And also, um, we want to recommend students resources on how to improve engagement according to the statistics they received from our AI plugin. And also we want to work on analyzing um, the I guess McDonald lost connection. So the last thing in the next steps was to analyzing the emotions under the face mask. And now yeah, so I also yeah, we want to analyze to um, to use emotion recognition to analyze um, students or lecturers who are wearing face masks. With this, we'd like to thank you for listening to our presentation. We are open to any questions. Thank you, Edu Motion. You were about 20 seconds over, and judges, you have five minutes now to ask questions. I had a couple of questions. Thank you for the presentation. Um, so that earlier in the presentation, you had an e-learning market stat, I think it was 2019 to 2026. I'm wondering, it was probably conducted pre-pandemic. Have you seen anything more recent? I'm, I'm just wondering if the market's gonna go up you know, with virtual learning or if, if that's been a consideration for you guys. Uh, what we've read uh, that now during the pandemic as a market is already it's growing now and we found that statistics it was yeah before the pre-pandemic and uh, they said in the article that it will be now during the pandemic period the, the online market is is growing uh, more we didn't get the exact number to include it in the slides we've just read it before yeah definitely um Another question I had was, who would you be selling to? Are you selling this to schools or is it like an individual product for like professors? I'm just curious. Uh, what we were thinking, thinking of is that uh, universities and schools will be like the one who paying the subscription. Like for example, now universities are paying for subscription for Zoom to be unlimited during one session time. So uh, it will be like a feature that Customers will be the online platforms, and the student schools and universities will be the one who are bringing this product from them to serve their users for um, students and, and instructors. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you for a nice presentation. I'm curious. So you said that you would do the post lecture summary, but you're only giving that to the professor. Is there a reason you wouldn't share that with the students themselves? Um, and do you see benefits of the students the, the knowing student. how they're presenting to their teachers? Yeah, yeah, we will share it with the student with detailed statistics, like they can improve their online learning experience. And we will share with them resources and how to do so. But the version that is sent to the professor is anonymous. So he don't know which student was not engaged or not. He just has a summary statistics of the overall class to maintain the privacy of the students. Good, I do, I do see great potential in students getting to reflect on their own engagement level because that's how it's perceived by the professor. There, there may be good skills that can then be kind of bundled with those students um, actually being more engaging and, and sending the signal to their professor that they're interested in what they're learning. Yeah. Do you see any ethical issues? The other teams were very or skeptical to video. Is there any ethical issue with recording video uh, during, I mean, do you feel like students actually should be giving up their data? Um, we were thinking about uh, taking their consent before recording their video. And another feature we were just uh, talking about is that if we can uh, take the, the data without sharing their video with other uh, participants in the, in the class. But mainly, uh, the, the first thing that we will work, about, uh, work on is the uh, students' consent to share their data to, to enhance the statistics and 
overall performance. Also, I'd like to add something to that. Uh, in the survey that we've done, we've, got respond we've asked that question, if there is a solution that uh, will capture your emotions without sending the videos to the professor, would you be like to uh, use it? And we've got like 80% out of uh, 120 students who took the survey. Yeah. yeah. And do you have any plans to integrate this beyond the Google Chrome, uh, the Google Meet extension that you discussed in the presentation? Yes, so um, we have plans to, to continue integrating it in um, other video conferencing um, um, solutions, but we decided Google Meet is our immediate next um, step because of its um, feasibility in terms of the current resources we have at the moment. Well, I can also add that the program has potential to be used in a classroom, real classroom environment like schools or in universities. If we get much data from online learning or any sources, yeah, I think, yeah, or I'm sure that it will work. <laughs>